All right, hey, welcome back to, put those away, to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Um, when we last left off, things got extraordinarily gay. And then, and now we're back in Redcliffe, because we're going to get Sten Sword, and we also level Alistair. Hmm. Sweet, okay. Oh yeah, he needs this. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we're gonna go um down and find Sten's sword and again. Like the entrance to Redcliffe is so far away from the whole rest of the place. It's annoying. So do you ever want to go back? To Honleaf? Perhaps it should stare at a patch of grass for 30 years and then tell me how much it misses it. Point taken. Still, if you can't remember anything else ever... It will be scary to leave, I think. Fortunately, I am not as comfortable with the mundane and familiar as some. Ooh! Ow! Ow! Sort of an adventurer, I see. Brave new world, that sort of thing. And instead, I should be content to remain in that village, standing still out of fear of the unknown. What life is that? I know what I am now. I know how I was made. I can move forward. It, who has had so much more, should do half as well. Um, thanks for that. I feel really good now. A pleasure. Next time, we shall speak of its grammar and personal hygiene. <laughs> oh my god. Alistair is stinky, guys. Though stung with a hundred arrows, uh -huh. though suffering yep. from ailments mm. both great and small, his heart was strong, and he moved on. Was that for the Jowan quest? Cool. Now let's go get that sword. Actually, hang on. I'm listening. Oh, hi, Shale. Okay, um, bye. Hello? Hit the door. I'm punching your house. Continue. It's you, the one they're all talking about. Shouldn't you be out there celebrating with the rest of them? No. Go on, out! Give me your sword. Now, why would you be interested in that? And how much is it worth to you exactly? How's your life sound? Fair enough. It's in my strong box. Here's the key. Now, why don't you leave me alone? Wow, he didn't even, like, protest. At all. I think actually this is going to be our last episode before starting the lands meet. So yay, exciting. Um, Journal Orzmar. I think, yeah, we all decided we're not going to be doing these. Dinner room. Yeah, we can do those after starting the lands meet. Uh huh. Definitely not doing that. Uh, we can make sure Valena is okay. Definitely too late for that. We're done with that. Can't do that. Hmm. 
horror awaits Dude. who perish outside of the Maker's forgiveness. Dude. Repent your sins before death. Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness. Stop that. Right now. I cannot. It is my sacred Oh my duty. god. Magic is everywhere. Everywhere. The time to repent has come. Just go somewhere else. Ah, another one of the damned. They are everywhere. I'm not damned. I'm not even gonna die. Ha. Huh. How's that feel? To see someone not die? My Belena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Oh, thank you so much. I was glad to help. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. Okay. Puppy! Go find something. A cake! Sweet. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. Or, no, the, um, Kokari thing. That's in Redcliffe, too, isn't it? Her. Okay. You're a grey ward. My husband oh, whoops, and son okay. went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. They're dead. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? They're dead. I... I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. Oh? Oh, his lock. Just hand her that. <laughs> if you're bringing me this... Oh, no. I'm sorry. Thank you so what is that? much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to make his blessings upon you. What? No, I, I always thought that that was just like, because it means her husband is dead. But I guess it also means something else, because she still said that even after I already told her he's dead. Huh. There's something else going on there. Anyway. So, uh, here is a question for the painted elf. Painted elf? Oh, that's me. Oh, I do like that. Am I to understand correctly that the painted elf is a crow? Not the painted elf. elf? But yes, I am a crow. As in a bird. Is there another sort? So the painted elf assaults helpless statuary with its feces. Uh -huh. If given sufficient time, why not? <laughs> oh my god. That is outrageous. The painted elf <laughs> will stay away from me, or else. I get a lot of that. Oh my god. Oh my god, Zephyrin! <laughs> you can't just shit on our golem! <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Right, we've... Yeah. Back to party camp. We're gonna finish up some... Our com all our last companion stuff. And then we're gonna go call the landsmate. Fucking... Finally. That took long enough. I guess not too many. I was like, maybe four or five episodes of this. Still, it's like... Really annoying.
Even better, so though, since I'm, like, not doing all the zillions of uh, side quests. Right, no. Character, okay. Uh, pals, okay. Kind of. Friendy. Not quite friendy yet. Um, definitely friend. Shale. Fairy friend. Lesbian. All right. There's just in sword. Very nice, very nice indeed. Uh -huh. Sten. There we go. Unexpected. Thank you. Strange. I had almost forgotten it. Completion. Are you sure you are a Grey Warden? I think you must be an Ashkari to find a single lost blade in a country at war. Well, shouldn't you report back now? I will return to the Arishok with my report. But it would be a much more thorough and satisfying answer to <laughs> this question if the blight were ended first. Don't you agree? Because we're friends, yes. So are you staying then? I am one of the Beresad. I have never abandoned the field with a battle unmet. Well, I'm glad to have you. Yes, it isn't every Grey Warden who has her own Beresad. I will see you reach the Archdemon. Lead the way. Nice. Um. Hang on. I'm gonna look something up. Because I think something bugged and didn't give us a scene that we were supposed to. Yeah. You're that better? Oh, dude. Okay. Did you feel it too? It was like the archdemon saw us. Saw us. Ah, fuck. What does that mean? I fucked up. I think. Wait. Did you hear that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. There was the abyss. Okay. Jump to the shriek encounter at the party camp. Let's just do that. Okay. Because I think this is um, especially important as the Dalish elf. Because, well, you'll see. That was scary. So, hey, uh, yeah, I had some severe technical difficulties there. Um, I guess I'll, like, make them... I'm going to put them in a different video just in case anyone wants to see it. It was it was impressive. I was Off amazed. I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I think that Archie means needs to die quickly. Well, short of waltzing through the entire Darkspawn horde and tapping it on the nose, I'm not sure just how we're supposed to do that. God but damn it! I, killing the Arch Demon is the general. Shriek ambush! Come on, give it. I understand. Good to have you on board. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight.
There's no... Oh my god. It's not... It's just... Okay. Fine. I'll just tell you. So Tamlin shows up, and he's all ghouly. And... Yeah. He shows up all ghouly, and it's really sad. But I... I mean, me just telling you about it doesn't, like, give away the feelings that it has. I'm really pissed off about this now. I'm Tamlin. Don't be a fucking coward. Alvin will be okay. 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 I fucking flung myself... Way off the campsite for nothing. No, seriously, like, I was way over here on the map. Like, I don't have a mouse. You can't see my mouse. On the lower left corner of the book thing. Not the map, the book thing. Ugh. There's still time in this episode, remarkably, though. I mean, I'm going to be cutting a bunch of it out anyway. But now I'm, like, really frustrated and I don't want to do... Why is Morgan out here? Also. Do you realize that you've been smiling for hours now? Uh, have I? Since the last time you and that girl shot glances at each other, <laughs> in fact. That was hours ago? I cannot imagine what you begin to see in her. I hope at least the dalliance is worthwhile. Uh, yeah. Why are you jealous? Why, yes. That must be <laughs> it. Green with envy, am I? Tis a bit sickening to watch you two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. You called. Um... I have a question. I am hardly Yeah, surprised. I know, I know. Do you find Ferodin very strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. You sound homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. Dogs don't smell that bad. Skunks don't mind the smell of other skunks. <gasps> Shall we move on? Okay, ouch. What is there anything you like, Ferelden? There is about Ferelden. Interesting food here. You have a thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things like Bread, but sweet and crumbly. Cookies? Yes. We have no such things in our lands. This should be remedied. I'll keep that in mind. Shall we move on? Don't the Canary ever want to change their lot in life? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. So actually, fun fact, the reason the Kunari don't have cookies is because they're too efficient with all their resources. See, because cookies and sweets and cakes first developed as a means of using up extra dough from bread. But the Kunari are too precise with their planning out, and so they have no opportunity to develop sweets maybe he was meant to be a merchant meant by whom and if that were indeed his purpose why did that mysterious source of meaning not make him so to begin with I'm 
How do you find your purpose if you don't look for it? You can learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. There is no need to search for it. Shall we move on? Okay. As you wish. Okay. Um So he likes cookies, huh? You have my thanks. What? Plus two. What say you? Guys, me questions. Um. So, tell me about your adventures. My adventures? <laughs> I'm hardly an old man just returned from across the ocean, am I? Should I shake my fist at nearby children while I talk about the good old days? That's what I do. You certainly talk as if you've had adventures. Falling down a flight of stairs is an adventure. Falling into someone's bed, also an adventure. I am assuming what you're looking for are professional anecdotes. You can tell me about Except falling down the stairs if you want. The mission ever for the crows was a bit intriguing. Can I might pass it down. I was sent pass to a mage who had been meddling in politics. Your second mission? Well, it was just the one mage. Not as simple a mission as the vagrant grey warden or two, perhaps. As it turned out, the mage in question was quite a delightful young woman. Long, divine legs, as I recall. I caught her in a carriage on her way to escape to the provinces. After I killed her guard, she got down on her hands and knees and begged for her life. Rather aptly, I might add. So I joined her in the carriage for the night and left the next morning. And she didn't try to kill you? Well, yes, twice, actually. Then she decided to try and use me instead. The woman had actually convinced me to speak to the crows on her behalf. What can I say? I was young and foolish at the time. Then, as I was kissing her goodbye to return to Antiva City, she slipped on the threshold and fell backwards out of the carriage. Broke her neck. Shame, really, but at least it happened quickly. So you didn't actually kill her? Not actually, no. I was a bit unimpressed by the development at first. Then I found out that she had told the driver to take her to Janellen instead. She had planned to lose me in the provinces. I would have looked very foolish to the crows. As it was, my master was very impressed that I had done such a fine job of making it look like an accident. The circle of magi was unaware of foul play, and everyone was happier all around. Except the mage. I suppose, but she was dead. She didn't need to be happy. It was after that when I learned that one needn't let a pretty face go to your head. Professionalism was key. That's my moral of the day, you see. Smart lesson. And one that not everyone learns, I'm sad to say. But that's enough tale spinning from me for the moment. Talking about the mage has made me a bit nostalgic, I'm afraid. Ah, the good old days. All right. We still have lots of time in this episode. Even though the Let's timer see. went off, we still have time. By all means. More questions, adventures. Again. Well now. Yeah. That might interest. Haha, <laughs> you have rather macabre tastes, I see. I like that. Let's see. How about the largest battle I ever took part in? That would have been the slaughter of Prince Azrin. Did you hear of that down in these parts? Nope. Me? Not personally, but I did take part in the attack. Prince Azrin was fourth in line to the throne, you see. He started off as 11th, but worked his way up the old-fashioned method by inheriting control of an entire Crocell from his grandfather. After assassinating his way through the royal family, the king hired three other cells to take down Prince Azrin once and for all. I was in one of those cells. 
is this sort of thing common in Antiva? Antivan royalty is very much bound up in the crows. You wouldn't want it run by a bunch of commoners, after all, would you? And this means they get involved in politics quite often. This particular fight nearly bankrupted the nation, I understand. It almost ended up putting a crow on the throne, a commoner. But that's a whole different story. I played a very small part. What did you do? My part in the entire battle was taken up trying to reach Princess Ferina, who had thrown in with her brother. I killed about 11 of her guards personally before I got knocked out of a window. I landed in a river and nearly drowned. I was fished out by some urchins who robbed me urchins? and made off with my boots too. At least they didn't cut my throat. And that was my part in history. You got robbed by urchins. <laughs> Mm. I had to find my way back to the safe house, bruised and naked, and thankful to be alive. But there you go. Tale told. Let's be off before I tell more embarrassing stories, huh? Embarrassing stories are great. a question for it if it will indulge me it chose to side with Caradin and destroy the anvil of the void I agree with its decision and yet the paragon Branca was the reason it ventured into the deep roads why did it choose to defy her it could not have known for certain that Caradin would be able to assist it with the dwarves I don't know really kind of gut instinct hmm as long as it's sure. At any rate, I wanted to thank it. It gave Caradin the end he wanted, and I'm pleased to have been a part of it. I will have to think on Caradin's words to me. It was a great deal to absorb, but for now, let us go on. Okay. Whoa, disapprove. Oh, shit. It has occurred to me that I have been... Excuse me. This is not easy. Oh. It She's occurs about to, like... to me that I have been less than charitable with it since it reanimated me. I think you have good reasons. It's okay. I have come to realize that it has been good to me. You have been good to me. Even though you had no control rod to enforce obedience, I have... Uh, all the more reason to be good to you, that, honestly. So I, I don't know how to thank you for being, you know... A soft, squishy, flesh, flesh creature? That, too. I <laughs> followed you, expecting to find answers to my questions. But I think I have found something better. I am honored. Oh, let us not speak of this awkward bonding moment ever again. To the road. That's a lot of disapproval. Oh, that was already at a hundred. I am listening. I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. No. Ooh, boy. So how did you end up in Hanleith? Do you remember? Oh, yes. That I remember quite well. My former master, the mage Wilhelm, he brought me. Of course. As I recall, he had acquired some position with whatever lord ruled the land. I, being little more than a glorified possession at the time, was brought along. Oh, how he enjoyed impressing the villagers with me. Gollum, snarl at that villager there. Be fearsome. And of course... I would have to do it. <sighs> Wouldn't you enjoy scaring humans? I'd have happily stomped them all into paste. And oh. And then ripped down their little houses and stomped on them, too. In fact, after 30 years of watching oh my them, God. I'd do it twice. What I didn't like was being ordered to do it. Dangled in front of those frightened morons like some scary thing. Once I was a statue... It took those villagers years before they'd even approach me. The first one to actually work up the nerve to touch me urinated himself. Ew. Wow. 
Why were you out in front of the tower? That is where Wilhelm kept me. He wanted me out in the open where I could be frightening like a scarecrow. I was supposed to watch for thieves. Plus, his wife didn't want me indoors. She said there wasn't room for me. Hag. Oh my god. His wife? Hmm. I was once larger, ten feet tall. Then the loathsome hag complained that I couldn't fit through the doors. So the mage had me shrunk down, shrunk down. Can it believe it? No. And she still wanted me out. How do you shrink a golem? With a chisel. Oh. And a lot of nerve. You didn't like Willem, did you? He did love using that control rod. Fondled it so much, his wife Fondled actually it. threatened to throw it in the lake. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Which reminds me, where did it find the rod? Did it pay a great deal for it? Willem's wife sold it, I think. Hag. <laughs> I traveled with the mage. He did a lot of traveling, I remember that. But where we went? It is rather fuzzy. I remember great battles, fighting many humans long ago. They were all very soft and squishy. And before that, I... No. There are only images. I was somewhere dark. Interesting, I'm done asking about that. Good. I was just about done talking about it. It does like to have a good chat now and again, doesn't it? It does. I am listening. It doesn't have better things to do. So, you're a woman? I had no idea. I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? I'm a female. Good for it. I am sure that to other creatures as soft and weak as itself, that would be perfectly obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. I'm female myself. Are we gonna... Oh, no. Ugh, no, no. Ugh. Come on, I'm female myself. I think it's great. Ah, oh, yes. Female bonding and all that. Raw. <laughs> now. Let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish thing to want to do, yes? Yeah, of course. That's a very girly thing to do. I am listening. More questions. It doesn't have better things to do. You don't like humans much. That is true. I do not. Me either. I'm not interested in getting into a discussion on the subject, however. Ask another time. Oh. If it is done asking overly obvious questions, let us find some humans to throw off a cliff or something. Okay. Well, um, that is about all for this episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I am quite irritated with how that ended up going. I'm still mad. I'm still mad. Oh well, hope you join us next time when we're finally gonna go start the lands meet. <laughs>